Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. In this video, let us learn about what is machine learning. We'll see how actually machine learning is used in various applications and how machine learning can make your life easy. You'll also see how machine learning works in practice. So let us start. Arthur Samuel, a pioneer in the field of artificial intelligence and computer gaming, coined the term machine learning. He defined machine learning as the field of study that gives computers the capability to learn without being explicitly programmed. In layman terms, machine learning can be explained as automating and improving the learning process of computers based on their experiences without being actually programmed, without any human assistance. The process starts with feeding good quality data and then training our machines, computers, by building machine learning models using the data and different algorithms. The choice of algorithms depends on what type of data we have and what kind of task we are trying to automate. Let us understand this span example. Suppose you are a student who wants to participate in interstate basketball match and want to represent your university, but you don't have the required skills to play in a match. You have never played basketball in your entire life and now you have decided to give it a shot and get trained in it. So you start playing basketball with your friends who are skilled in playing basketball. They train you. You give the required time to get trained. You carefully notice their moves, how they dodge their opponents. You carefully record each of their actions in your brain, which is just like a machine. And then you develop an understanding based on it. And then you incorporate everything that you learned by experiencing in your gameplay. Gradually with time and dedication, you improve a lot and you gain more and more experience. Now you slowly gain confidence in your skills in playing basketball. You realize that you are now ready to be a part of the team and later you put on your experience and skills in an environment which is entirely different from the one in which you got trained. That is how actually models are built, trained machine with data, both input and outputs are given to the model and when the time comes, test on data with input only and achieve our model scores by comparing its answer with the actual output which hasn't been fed while training. You and I are then responsible to improve algorithms techniques so that these models can perform even better. Let us now see how machine learning actually works. It starts with gathering past data in any form suitable for processing the better the quality of data, the more suitable it will be for modeling. Data processing sometimes, the data collected is in raw format and it needs to be pre-processed. Example, some rows in your dataset may have missing values for certain attributes. And in, in this case, it has to be filled with suitable values in order to perform machine learning or any form of mining. If data is in the form of text or images, then converting it to numerical form might also be required, be it a list or array or matrix. Simply data is to be made relevant and consistent. It is to be converted into a format that is understandable by machine. Next we divide the input data into training, validation and test dataset. The ratio between respective sets is generally taken to be 6 is to 2 is to 2, though it is not a hard and fast rule. After this step, we build models with suitable algorithms and techniques on the training dataset. Then we test the statistical power of prediction of our conceptualized and trained model in an environment which is actually different from the one it was trained on to measure the performance of our machine learning model. So this was all about the video. In the next video, we will discuss about classification of machine learning models before we move on to main topics. 